watching Invest 90L for any new developments today. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is live at Daytona Beach this morning. Mike. Good morning. We've got the latest in from the Hurricane Center, the 8 a.m. Uh, tropical weather update. The odds are being held at 50-50 for development into a tropical depression. You can see on the satellite loop, there's been a bit of a flare-up in the convection this morning. Again, this is all east and southeast of the center, like we've seen during its entire lifespan since early uh, on Friday. Uh, meanwhile, we watch the convection. It's got to wrap around the center before it can be a, a, a depression. The, yesterday, the hurricane hunters did go out there, and they found a center, but they didn't see the convection. You can see that on the satellite wrapped around. So it's still not a depression. It could become one as it drifts off to the west uh, and northwest towards the Florida coast tonight and tomorrow. Uh, the offshoot today is rip currents. And we've got the red flags will be flying here. The lifeguards come up on the stands at 10:15 till 6. Uh, remember, heed their advice. They had about 50 rescues yesterday here at Daytona Beach. There's the surf this morning rolling in about four footers, four to five footers, a bit frothy. And again, the rip currents. Water temp is beautiful. I mean, it's just ideal. 83, just right. I don't like that 90 degree water. I was in that a few years ago and. It's just like soup, but 82, 83, that'll do it. We'll have a partly cloudy day. Chances of rain today are not very high, about 30 to 40 percent. And then we'll see the rain chances increase on uh, Monday and Tuesday, Reynolds and Molly, because the winds will start coming from the southeast and bring that tropical surge of moisture back. So we'll keep an eye on 90L. Does it become Fred? Probably not at this point, but it may become a, de a depression impact, so it don't really change overall, whether it's a TD when it comes in or just a weak low invest 90L. Okay. You know, I agree with Mike completely when it comes to water temperatures. 83 degrees is perfect Goldilocks water temperature. Yeah. Not too hot, not too cold. It's just, just right. Right. There you go. <laughs> and Good morning from Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm meteorologist Mike Slidell. Welcome back to Weekend Recharge out on the beach watching Invest 90L. Now the surf is up and about the only impact we're going to see today here in Daytona is going to be uh, the rip current issue. Red flags will be flying as the lifeguards hit the stands here at 1015 Eastern. Dr. Postel, this Invest doesn't have a lot going for it. There is a flare up of convection this morning, but there is so much dry air and none of the models really do a lot with it, but we're going to watch it. 50-50 chance now that it becomes a depression. What say you back there in Atlanta? Yeah, you know, I think the odds are maybe even less than that. I mean, given that there's not much time left, Mike, and there's really not a whole lot of substance to this disturbance that you're talking about, which is just offshore uh, of your location by about 100 or so miles. Let's have a look now at what we've got with... Mike Sadell is live on the beach right now in Daytona. And Mike, you and your crew got there yesterday. So any difference in what's going on in the sky or even in the ocean yesterday compared to today? Not much of a change. I was out on the beach last night around 7, and it was pretty frothy. Now, there is one difference in the wind direction and the speed. Now, last night it was northeast, so it was coming onshore and running about 15 to 18 miles an hour. Today, it is now almost parallel to the beach. The beach doesn't run north-south here, so these winds are north and north-northwest. That's about a 10 to 12 mile an hour wind. Uh, certainly nothing very gusty. There's really no gustiness to the wind. Just a steady breeze out here, cutting some of the edge off the heat. Look at the surf though, it's frothy. We've got four to five footers, and that really is the impact today. For many folks out here, it's a Sunday, Daytona Beach. There'll be folks out here driving on the beach already, uh, the lifeguards out here, but we've got the surf and the rip currents. In fact, lifeguards are back up on their stands now. They'll be up on the stands till six. You can see the red flag flying. So they're gonna be keeping a close eye on the bathers going into the surf. Yesterday, I was told they had at least 50 rescues. So that puts it in perspective, even if there's not an official statement from the weather service locally from Melbourne, it doesn't mean there's not rip currents and the water is all churned up, even though the wind is now moved parallel and offshore. So we're gonna watch and see what 90L does. The Hurricane Center, Hurricane Hunters were, are scheduled to go back out if necessary. We'll see if that mission 
comes to fruition out of Kiesler and Biloxi and see if they find convection wrapping around the center, but we haven't seen that so far. And you can see on the radar, there are some rain showers off the Space Coast to our south and southeast, but they're rotating south and not our way. So for the foreseeable future out here on the beach, you can see it's just stunning. Temperatures will be up in the upper 80s today, and the heat index about 95. Water temp right now, 83 degrees. So, Paul, ideal beach day. Be careful of the rips, listen to the lifeguards, and watch out for any potential lightning from any storms that could pop up uh, this afternoon here at Daytona. That's Mike Sedell live on Daytona Beach. Great advice to stay where the lifeguards are. All right.